is here who, you know, they're having a single summer and they need some advice from you. Um, I don't know if I'm the best person to give advice because my advice is like just learn a skill or develop a hobby and do not waste your energy on boys. Honestly, All they're going to do is drain you. Just yeah. move on. Invest in yourself. We've got a lot of single late ladies here. So that's, uh, mm -hmm. that's it. Not much there, but she does say that... Uh, you know, they'll just waste your time and drain you. Men, do you think that there would be an uproar if uh, a male of her uh, status were to say the same thing but just swap the, the... No, I don't think if, like, uh, Ryan Gosling were to say... What, what's, what was the first thing she said? Nick, just pull it up one more time. What was the first thing she said? If Ryan Gosling would go on an interview and say... Who, you know, they're having a single summer and they need some advice from you. Um, I don't know if I'm the best person to give advice because my advice is like, just learn a skill or develop a hobby and do not waste your energy on boys. Do not waste your energy. Honestly, All they're going to do is drain you. So just if Ryan Gosling... If Ryan like, Gosling I don't think that was bad. Huh? So, just right there, I think they are reacting to that video where that girl was saying... Just don't waste your time with boys. See, this is the start of a, um, let me say, this is the start of a degenerate, crazy mindset of people. Because now it's like, and we're getting close to this generation where now everybody's doing their own thing and they said, oh, don't get into a relationship with men. Men, in our, men are a waste of time. This is stupid. It truly is. This is like advice that men give to other men. Like, don't waste your time on business. Like, make sure you develop a hobby. Go find a job. Like, work yourself. Be, be worth something. Don't waste your time on yeah, but there's, that's because of the value difference, right? Oh, so now there's a justification. I believe for she's it. saying that there is a people are going to well, come. Well, wait. Um, there there is a justification for it. There's no double standard here. There's no double standard. <laughs> okay. Because I don't ascribe to the fact your egalitarian worldview of equality. Right. So let's <laughs> let's throw in that so in there, case, is, there is no that there is a right. distinction in standards because there's a value distinction. The value distinction is is I that. I disagree with you. Well, okay, you can. You don't, you don't even know what I'm going to say? Distinction. Why would you disagree with you me? You think there's a value distinction between men and women? You don't think there is? I think that they're different. I don't think that they're valued differently. No? No. Okay, so then you would say that they prefer the exact same things? No. I okay, said, so I think then that there's value different. differences. No. Okay, they value different yes. things, but they themselves are valued the yeah, same. Yeah, I wasn't talking about their intrinsic quality or rights yet. Okay. I'm talking okay. about the things that they value yes, are they different. Yes, they value different things. So if... If men are valuing, for instance, physical beauty, standards, youth for children, things like this, they don't really give a shit about women's income. Women, on the other hand, do care a lot about men's income. So if men are giving the advice to focus on uh, gaining a lot more income if they wanted to have a good, stable relationship and have a woman stay at home, take care of their kids, that really is good advice. For women, them having a skill, long-term skill, and wasting their youthful years doesn't seem to me to be great advice. Yeah, um, when you're a woman... I think maybe you'd understand. But if you waste your entire time... You know, if you were a man, I think you don't... That was stupid, bro. That doesn't have nothing to do with him being a woman. He... That was... I like that about what he said. A lot of girls do waste their youth when they're young. A lot of them are. And they still continue to do it. But even the older women that I've seen... Not all, but even the older women that I've seen are still... Wasting all their beauty. Like, I see, like, 30-year-olds, 40-year-olds. I see some of them look good. But they still wasting their time with these dumb delusional requirements that they want for men. Or oh, I want him to be making 100K, 200K, 300K. Why are women wasting their time? Why are y'all wasting your time? Your beauty has a time. It's... it's the clock is ticking. It has a time on it. It's going to expire soon. Come on, not saying that a man's, um, well, a man's handsomeness goes up as he gets older. So that's that's a win situation for him. Win-win situation for men. But that's only if, I ain't saying all men, but if the, if the men really take care of themselves, then yeah. But um, 
for a woman is just that, yeah, I mean, unfortunately, it's like the beauty goes away with age and stuff. Yeah. Probably. But yeah. if you waste your entire time um, trying to please men your whole life, that's you not, do waste yourself away. That's not what I said, though. That and likewise, if you what men, if you waste your time trying to please women, you are wasting your time. So likewise with that. That's what she's saying. She's no, saying, don't she's waste saying. your time on boys. Find a hobby. Develop something interesting. Because if you're obsessed with <coughs> boys and that is your hobby, you're going to have a problem. Okay, women have X amount of years where they have strong fertility. And that's in their 20s. Okay. That's their strongest years for fertility. Okay. So if they're busy out developing a skill and wait, not wasting any time on boys in their 20s. You're misunderstanding what I'm she's saying. I'm not misunderstanding yes, what she's you saying. Are because you're not a girl. Well, then, when then let's saying, do it. When she's man. saying don't sure. waste your time on boys, she means literally don't make your entire world revolve around boys. She doesn't you, mean. No, you're just setting that mean, in. No, that's not what because, she said. Because, Yes, she doesn't mean never ever talk to a boy. She's about boys. She's literally dating somebody. She has a boyfriend. So she's saying work on yourself. She's literally that was just saying, yeah. Thing. She's work literally on just yourself saying, instead. Don't drain yourself it will come on to you. boys. No, Find I think a hobby. What you're doing, Find something else that I you think like. What you're doing don't make your world revolve. Is you're not taking what she actually said. You're just mapping what she's you want. Dating what, a man. what you want it to sound she's like. She's literally dating a man right now. But just you're like, just like with almost everything I say to you, just like everything I say to you, you reinterpret it to say something I didn't say. That's what's happening. Here. You did that before with the other girl. You said, oh, he, she left because she only wanted money and she only wanted this. You made so many assumptions. And then no, here you you're doing the exact same thing. No, you I challenged no, them. No, yeah. you're doing the, I literally I, She said, needs therapy. That's a presupposition, lady. Does she lady. not have issues? Can you not agree with me? <laughs> but you but the wise, the wise are what matters. A different way she could have the it. issue from the therapist. It doesn't matter. It does matter. The, the point she just is needs we, a better therapist. The point is we agree that she has an internal <laughs> issue. It's not about the money and you're just assuming. In this case, you're also assuming that she means never, ever, ever talk to a man when that's not what she's saying. That's and what she girl, said. Two separate yeah, points as a girl, here. it's very obvious to know what she means no, because there are a lot of girls. Because you made it. What she is saying, and I think what a lot of girls advertise is that they want you to not waste your time on men when they're in a, they, their prime, when they... 20, in their 20s, early 30s. There's still girls that look good in their early 30s. But she wants them to not waste time on men when they're young. But that's what men look for, is beauty. Men look for beauty, period. We look for beauty. And it's always going to be like that. It's always going to be like that. So, I don't know what she's saying, but... Oh no! Fuck boy up. crazy. You, you just guys are like, so because it. girls actually go boy crazy and they actually do revolve their what, entire like, lives around men. What does that have to do with what she actually said because versus what you are mapping to... on to what she said? Because you want her to have said that. She has a boyfriend. So what? Okay, we so, got one of her going around in circles. We're going around in circles. If she, has, circles. Circles. If she, has she a obviously has a girlfriend, stop. <laughs> uh, she has a boyfriend. I get that. I get your point that I can see most likely what she meant was, hey you know, don't waste your time on boys, really focus on yourself, but I get what you're saying in the sense that for me, when I went yeah, to college, I went to college to get a degree, but I also went to college no to find boyfriend. my husband. I was Didn't looking matter, for a man. A Are you, for Wait, real? Why is he getting scolded for side conversation? <laughs> what? I would love to hear your point. Everyone gets yelled at for side really conversations, but she was talking so about oh, side conversation. I was directing out of the side to him. Sorry. Oh. My point was, I just agree with allow you me. in the sense. Look, 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 look. You've just got... Your interruption is now greater than his minor sidebar. I don't always catch every single sidebar that's going to occur. But now, now I'm having to respond to you because you've just totally interrupted the entire thing. Let me host, okay? If I miss a sidebar, blame How it on me. How does your husband feel about that? Um, what? How does your wife feel about it? She's not married. I'm not married. Yeah. Go ahead. She is. Go ahead. To a man. I genuinely, I went to college to obviously to get a degree, but I also had a goal to find myself a husband. I agree with you that women have prime years where we are to find a husband, to have children. And I think it's sad that in today's society, women are focusing more on 
themselves. It's a very me-centric society right now. I disagree. And in turn, they're going into the workforce and they're not having children. That's and true. they're not getting I, married. I and think, I think that's a really sad place I to be. I think the reason for that, the reason why giving women rights makes them decide to be more independent and not want to marry in order to participate in society is because they aren't happy in their marriages. Because men are used to acting, no offense like you, respectfully, and... Like you. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> Respectfully. You should have said that. Um, no, that's fine. I don't care. I don't need this throwback. But, um, just they, they act in ways where it's like the woman must submit, the woman must live for me. And unfortunately, women are people too, for you. That's unfortunate. And we don't necessarily want to live just for a man. We want to live for ourselves as well. And if a man can't understand that, then we don't want to be married to them. And there are a lot of men who cannot understand that. So a lot. You can live for yourself, man. Come on. You can live for yourself. What in the hell is she talking about, bro? Yo, and this is the mindset a lot of girls have in today's age, man. But listen, any. I don't even know, man. It just. The stuff that they say is out of this world, man. I, I don't know. Guys, I don't know, man. They, the, the stuff they say is out of this world, bro. I don't know, man. It's best for females to find the type of guy they want while they in their prime. And just forget about this. I'm going to do me. I'm going to do this. I'm going to make money. You can make money. You can... Get your education, get all those degrees, knowing that you taking out student loans for them that you gotta pay back. Um, you can do, you can buy all this Mercedes Benz cars. You buy, you can buy all of that. You can go as many vacation trips as you want. Whatever. Nothing is ever gonna beat a successful family. Nothing's gonna top that. Nothing got. I don't care how how much money you got. Nothing, nothing in this world is ever going to top that. Period. Women no longer want to. Why should we try? Why should we waste our lives away for a man to just be like, good, stay at home, do this. Let me not respect you. Let me, let me hey, act man, like I'm doing you a thing. favor. That's not the right kind of man. You're not finding but the right kind of man. But there's a lot of men like there that. There are. So you got to seed them out. out. You got to look for the right kind of man. Because I'm telling you, the man that I am married to loves and respects 100%. me. 100%. And I feel like I women agree. are, I, I do think women put men down way too often. I think it goes both ways. So, yes. so, moving, absolutely. It absolutely so, moving, does. so moving back to this, let's let's test this and see if this is correct. You think that women are <clears throat> staying away from men and trying to go towards relationship because men are just big meanie heads? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's what you said, right? Yeah. No, I, yeah. yeah. I mean, if you want to make it sound stupid, go can ahead. You, that's what can, I said. You, can you explain, though, why you think that? If, if men, if women were happy in their marriages, then giving them the right to participate in society without marriage mm -hmm. wouldn't have an impact on marriage. But it does, because they don't like it. <clears throat> they don't like being married. Because they're not being treated well in marriage, right? Oh. You have, you the problem is, is that a lot of women, a lot of people will get married because they think that will bring them happiness. And that's a lie. Marriage is not about happiness, period. I mean, some, somewhat, being happy to the person you're married to, but... That happiness is, is an emotional feeling. And it's a, it's an emotional feeling that you, you can't switch on and off as you please. Marriage is more than that. It's more than that. What about the incentives Kendall, that they have Kendall to get right divorced? Here, she's very happy in her marriage because her husband treats her nicely. What about the incentives they, they have to get each divorced, other. though? They have and incentives they to get divorced. Her. Yeah, but if you actually like your partner, you're not going to want to get divorced, yeah, right? I'm sure Kendall also has an you incentive. May. No, Kendall is not going to divorce her husband just for the money. She likes her husband. Yeah, so what? The, the, Kendall's Thank not you. every woman. Do you when you talk about incentivizations, <laughs> when you talk about incentivizations back the other direction, what you're saying is there's no possibility that there could be incentivizations the other direction, which could convince a woman to leave her husband. That's what you're saying. If she doesn't like him, yeah, there are a lot of incentives. But if he's treating her perfectly well, and she is perfectly healthy as an individual as well, mm -hmm. then there should be no problem. So, she would have no reason to leave. Okay. So, so hang Why on. would Kendall leave Got it. perfectly happy I understand happy what you're saying. I just want to grant it. I want to make sure I'm not strawmanning you, so I'm going to steel man it okay. back to you. 
If a woman's happy in her marriage, even if there's incentives, she's going to stay. Or the problem is either that she's actually miserable because of the way he's treating her or there's something wrong with her. Correct. Then this would, the logical extension of this would be then that you actually believe that women are initiating most marriages because there's nothing wrong with them, but because it's men's fault. No, I think a lot of women get married too soon. So it's their fault? I don't think, I think women get both. married soon enough. It's both? Yeah. Then it is why, both. if it's why both, it then how come men person? aren't initiating those divorces as much as women? They, I mean, they do as well. They don't. They do sometimes. Sometimes. But, they don't. but why aren't they as much okay, as for men? the record? Wait, 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 pause. Okay, it makes for the sense record. for them not wait, to want to. Wait, wait one second. Divorce. Well, please, wait one second. They actually do this. Women really love to romanticize love. On the flip side, men are very logical thinkers, and they're okay with going with the problems. When there's a problem after problem, most times women are like, I'm out. I'm done. It's because of this, we love, we want to get married because we want the big wedding. We want this idea of love instead of actually knowing what love is. Mm -hmm. So I, I think to go along, someone had said that people are getting married too young i think someone said that i, said that. I think you said that Lindsay. You did not. oh, said okay. that. oh sure. you said that are, are getting married too young i i think i have a lot of friends that are married and in my opinion i think they are too young but i think that because i i see all these people that get married young and then they get all right y'all man listen check this out man um don't don't chase women. Don't chase after women. I mean, I, I really feel that men are the prize. Um, and I know for a fact that a lot of men love younger girls. They love young girls in their prime, and that's a fact. Um, not a lot of men. Not I'm not saying all. Not not a lot of men love older women, but they love younger women. Um, so, yeah, I mean, so men, um, don't waste your, your time. I mean, e even this, this is a message for women to listen, if you in your twenties, you know, 25, whatever, um, marry young. I would suggest marry young. Um, so you don't really end up in the shoes of a lot of, um, Older women in America are single and they've got nothing but a cat and a dog in the house. And that's that's the only husband they have. So I would suggest getting married young. If not, then try to figure out something. But I'm telling you, your um your beauty has a uh, has a time limit. And and it, every single day that's your beauty starts to fade every single day. So, and makeup can only do so much for it. But yeah, man. Hey, listen, I hope y'all uh, hit that like and subscribe button. I appreciate y'all. Um, yeah, man. Hopefully y'all have a, a blessed week and y'all stay safe. Peace.